thought you'd close the shop. It's been actually in the works for a while. I went and got a, another job. Um, it's just not conducive to run the bakery, have twin boys, and have a 40 hour a week job. So. <laughs> So it was too much on your plate? Too much on our plate and quite honestly, um, you know, it, money wasn't as well, well wasn't, the bakery wasn't doing as good as what we would have liked to do to keep it open, so. It was too tough to keep it afloat financially? Um, a lot of it had to do with building up, well, seasonal work, weddings. We, lo we yeah. lost a lot of that business. So, yeah, it's just, that's, you, you make your money in the summertime to coast through the winter time when you don't make enough in the summertime, you just shut it down. So, so. the wedding part of the business took a hit? Yeah, yeah. that's probably been the worst. We had, um, we had a lot of, I don't, there was a group of people, I don't know who these people were, but um, that called and emailed and harassed a lot of our vendors um, to the point where they had to take us off and um, where they just, a lot of them stopped referring us because of it. Um, so yeah. Do you know or can you estimate how many of the girls you lost as a result of the I, I won't say which businesses, but we had some pretty big venues um, that referred us and, um, and we lost out on, on them. So quite a few. Um, one place in particular we probably did four to five weddings each weekend at and um, this year we probably did a total of Once maybe a month. <laughs> yeah, probably about wow. that. Are yeah. we talking more than 50% of your business took a hit? Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Perfect. So what has the process or what has the journey been like for you realizing you may have to close at least the brick and mortar side of your store, which, you know, you put your, your heart and soul into? Yeah. Um, it, as far as, I mean, as far as the journey for me personally, um, you know, it's, it's to be expected when you're up against what we're up against. Um, I'm not surprised by a whole lot that's happened. I, yeah, it, it's one of those things where you never want to see something you put so much work into go belly up. But on the other hand, um, I have faith in the Lord and he's taking care of us up to this point and I am sure he will in the future. So do you blame anyone in particular? I mean, I know you said there were sort of these anonymous people out there that were harassing these vendors, but yeah. I mean, do you you know, I bad publicity. Or... I'm not the type to put blame on anybody. I, I mean, I just unfortunately think it, it is what it is, and it is what happened. And you know, there's been there's been some not very nice people, I guess, there's out a, there. And that's ironic. There's a lot of closed-minded people out there. Um, you know, they, they they would like to pretend to be very tolerant and you know just want equal rights, but on the other hand, they've been very, very mean-spirited. They've been militant. Um, the best way I can describe it is they've used mafia tactics against the business. And you mean death threats? What do you mean by mafia? Well, we, we've had, I mean, yeah, in fact, uh, I just found a social media site uh, where a guy actually said that he'd like to find us and slap the expletive out of us. Um, you know, but the, as far as the mafia tactics, basically, if you do business with sweet cakes, we will shut you down. I mean, that's mafia tactics. Is that heartbreaking for you? I mean, that this is something Yeah, I mean some extent is out of your control. Yeah, I've, I've had, um, I mean, I've had my moments of, you know, because it took a lot of years for me to build up what I built up and, um, you know, so it's, it's, it's been hard, but I, I don't know, I, I've been kind of also at peace with it just because, you know, I am who I am and you know, I want to live my life the way I want to live my life, and you know, I cho I choose to serve God, and I believe in the Bible, and I believe what it says, and I want to live by that. And you know, I'm not the type that where I want to shove it down anybody else's throat or anything like that. You know, and so I guess I would I would hope to have the same respect. You know, that things don't have to be shoved on me and force me to do something I don't want to do. Sure. Um, so at its core, I mean. You know, discrimination is really a wrong terminology for what took place. Yeah. If I discriminated against this girl, 
we wouldn't have done cakes for her in the past. Exactly. We, we I didn't have want served. to be a part of her marriage, which I think is wrong. So. And so you stand by your faith. You feel like you've been faithful from the beginning or from the get-go of your, of your business. And you've always... So you've, you've never sold a cake to somebody that was gay or lesbian. No, 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 we, oh, no. We we've have. sold. We have. <laughs> yes, no, we have. We have never done a same-sex wedding cake. Right. Is yeah. that what you're asking? Because yeah. we've never done that. And in fact, we've told uh, we've had couples in the past. We've that, that have that, asked yeah. us. And they've been very understanding. And we've shared with them why. Um, and they've been very understanding as to our reasons. And one person in particular had emailed me. And I emailed them back and let them know. Um, and... Um, they thanked me for my honesty and they appreciated that and so that was nice it was you know it was nice to for them to understand where we were coming from you feel like you've become in a way a symbol of you know a conservative idea or <laughs> you know or it, i don't know if we've traditional marriage i i hope if nothing else that we've given other people that believe the way we believe the strength to stand up um, i believe that we're living in a time that's very hostile towards Christians. Um, our First Amendment rights are being stripped away, and I'm willing to stand up and take this fight. So do you feel like you're being discriminated against? Oh, definitely, definitely. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, think, I think at this point, um, I'm not allowed to have a faith in the public sector, which goes against the Oregon State Constitution. So what would you say to, to critics who supporters of same-sex marriage who feel like you get discriminated against? Um, it's critics that support gay marriage, um, I honestly, we can agree to disagree. I'm, yeah. I, I'm, I'm not forcing my views down their throat. I would hope that they wouldn't want to do the same to me. So where, where do you go from here? Um, I don't know. We just enjoy our family and Try to live our lives the best we, you know, can, and and you know, hopefully, hopefully it'll. I mean, I started my business out of my house, so and it it went really well there. Um, sometimes when I had the business, I would sit there and I'd think like, oh, I wish it was back in the house. It was it was a lot less stress. So so a part of me is like, okay, you know, this isn't bad. You know, it's a lot less stress, and I have five kids, so you know, they need me. And so, I don't know, I kind of look at it, this as a blessing in disguise that I get to spend more time with my kids and, you know, so I'm looking at it really positively, like I, I, I am. Do you foresee opening, you know, another brick and mortar type shop? Um, I, I do have some, I have some certain things in the works of possibly getting to sell my product um, out of other locations. So, I mean, I definitely, I still see, you know, good things in the future and stuff, so. So, what about... Yeah, the Department of Justice referred it over to Bowley. Uh, the okay. Department of Justice wouldn't actually deal with this, so uh, it's it's strictly the Bureau of Labor and Industry. So do you have any updates on where that can stand? No, actually, it seems to be that the media finds out before I do. <laughs> so, kind of strange how that works. <laughs> okay. Did the closure have anything to do with that investigation? Uh, no. no, we weren't pressured by the state to close down, no. Okay. Do you know if the case will become moot if you no longer have a store that's open in a brick and mortar location? Um, I, I don't think so. Yeah. I think it's still, I mean, from what our lawyers told us, it's still, you know, gonna, still a business license. we're still in business, so there still is going to be a fight to fight, so. Anything you'd like to add? Um, I guess I would like to say to everybody that, you know, has sent us really encouraging cards and um, the support, <laughs> sorry, I don't mean to get emotional, but, um, the support that people have sent us means a lot, and um, it's very encouraging things that people send us, and really appreciate it. So I would love people to know that from everywhere. They thank you so much. Did you expect that this sort of a thing would happen when that one day you decided, no, we don't want to sell a cake to San Francisco? Oh no, <laughs> I did it anyways. Well, yeah, I mean, in, in the past, we've, like we said. Um, 
declined to do cakes for other same-sex ceremonies and never had a problem with it. Um, so, yeah, I didn't, didn't think I didn't think there would be a media frenzy. Didn't think there would be complaints filed because it was just something that happens, you know. So. Do you have any concerns about the Bureau of Labor and Industries case? Uh, I actually have no hope in the Bureau of Labor and Industry. I believe that. Uh, the Commissioner of the Bureau of Labor and Industry is very, very biased, and I don't feel that I'll get a fair shake there at all. 